Have you two got your walkie-talkies? Yeah. Great. Well... We've been through a lot as it is, but just remember it was all worth it to protect each other. This journey won't be any different. You're right. Good luck to you both. We'll be sure to keep in contact with you consistently. And to you. Good luck. Are you ready? I should be the one asking you that. Hey. Have you seen that yet? Nothing. Here's a machine, Foxy. I know, I know. There's hope. Hello, hello? It's Freddy and Freddy. Freddy, it's Foxy and poor Freddy. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The world is nothing like I imagined, and there's not a human in sight. Not one human? Nothing. Freddy? Freddy, you there? Have you lost signal? Hey, where are you going? I'll be back. Sorry. Could you throw it back? Yeah, thanks for getting my ball. Is this Mangles? Uh, I shouldn't read it cause it's probably private. Screw it. Um, hello? Oh god, how do I word this? There isn't an audience so, dear diary, I guess. It feels so strange to be writing my thoughts onto paper, but I don't have the courage to tell anyone. So here we are. Suppose I should start from the beginning. Life, before this whole pandemic, was such a warm and happy start to my new world. As stated by Puppet, I was originally a human, along with everyone else, though I have no idea what it was like. This didn't matter to me, as I already had a family, and even someone to love. Though it didn't last. That monster, would become my worst nightmare, literally. After his death, his wandering soul made its way into my head and rested there for many years, till our next location. These times were the worst months of my life. Those nightmares. They consumed me. I was such an idiot for not telling anyone, not even the one I trust the most. My dear Foxy, I'm sorry for the lack of emotion and distance I gave you. I'm seriously in love with you, though I doubt he'll ever feel the same. I'm a mess. A pathetic mess of delight.